I've done another video. You can go check out five reasons uh, women stop wanting sex. So that's another angle that I come from. Today, we're going to go a little bit deeper and look a little bit more at the emotional and psychological experience that's happening in us as women that we shut down to sex. So before we get into all that, I want to share some of the comments with you that men have shared of what their wife has said to them uh, about why they no longer want sex. Uh, one of them, I, I couldn't find it again to copy and paste it, but one of them said something like, very shortly after my wife and I got married, she looked at me and said, aren't you glad we're married now so we don't have to pretend that we like sex? That's something a woman said. Here's another one. My wife told me after years of no sex, when I asked her why, she said, you are my best friend, and the idea of sex with my best friend is gross, which is why she was only interested when we first met. That's, that's an actual, actual excuse that a woman gave. Another common one, she says that, it's all, that her hormones are always low. Another comment from a man of what his wife shared, I've been reading about sexless marriages and eventually during an awkward, heated conversation, I asked my wife about it. I said that sexless is usually less than 10 times a year. And then I asked my wife, how many times have we had sex in the last 10 years? Her answer, if it was once, it was one more than I wanted to. It's almost unbelievable how entitled we can feel as women to even let something so crushing and heartbreaking come out of our mouths, but that's exactly what happens. We feel entitled to say things like that. And we're going to get more into the why of that here in a moment. Just a couple more. Uh, I asked my wife once why we don't have sex anymore, like before we got married. She looked me straight in the eye and told me, I don't really have to do that anymore now that I've got you. And then she followed up with that she is quite happy to not have sex again for the rest of her life. My wife said I'm 50 years old and I shouldn't have to have sex anymore. And another one similar to that, my wife told me at age 50, she is too old for sex. So see, these are the, some of the excuses we come up with as women when we have shut down to sex. And uh, something I talk about a lot on the channel is camp victim versus can't take responsibility. All these comments that I just shared with you, all of our excuses as women for why we have shut down to sex come from a place of living in camp victim. If, if you wanna know what I mean by camps and camp victim versus can't take responsibility, uh, please go uh, check that, that video out. I, I posted it recently uh, about the problem with couples counseling uh, is the name of, of, of the title or does couples counseling work? And I, I go in depth into camp victim versus camp take responsibility. But all of our excuses of why we're shut down to sex, why we feel we'd be perfectly fine to never have sex again, are, are coming from a place of, of being a victim and putting the problem and the issue outside of ourselves and, and blaming our marriage, blaming uh, being too busy with the kids, blaming our hormones, blaming our past experiences with men, our, our past relationships. That keeps us in a place, women, of being very, very stuck and not being able to move forward. And I, I know because I was in a place where I was telling myself that story that it'd be okay if I never had sex again. I didn't truly feel that way inside. I knew that that was not healthy for myself or my marriage or my husband. I knew that it was, it was not in integrity with myself or my husband. And it ate away at me, inside of me, and was this constant weight and burden and pressure and anxiety that I carried around with me in my life. There was no solution forward and, and no path forward or way out of it because I was in camp victim. I blamed my husband. I blamed my marriage. I blamed my past experiences with men. I blamed my upbringing. When I would go to therapy, when I would read the books, all of those stories got reinforced, that that it reinforced and, and kept me stuck living in camp victim with no solution and no way out. So when when we live in camp victim 
around sex and being shut down to sex and, and, and living in those stories that we don't want to have sex anymore. It's not important to us. We don't really need it. Living in Camp Victim, what that creates psychologically and emotionally is that we have no control in life, that life happens to us. And when we have that experience and and blaming our husbands, blaming our marriage, from that place, we check out of life. As women, we describe that being checked out of life internally as being numbed out. I used to feel incredibly numb inside of myself and the women that I work with who my message speaks to and they want a way out of this prison we trap ourselves in express being checked out in life as being numbed out because we feel we have no control there is no path forward and from that place and being numbed out and being checked out which are synonyms we don't want to feel anything at all and so we shut down internally How that plays out in our relationship with sex and our marriage. And for some women, they feel this way and they maybe aren't married or even in a relationship. But what happens when we're numbed out internally, living in camp victim, the reason we shut down to sex is because we are numbed out to life. The reason we are shut down to sex is because we are numbed out to life life when we numb out to life and numb out within ourselves emotionally then that gets reflected in our relationship with sex sex puts us in a arena with our husbands to have to actually open up and feel and if we've shut ourselves down to life we've numbed ourselves out to life we don't want to engage in anything that is going to cause us to have to feel. We don't wanna feel anything good or pleasurable. We don't wanna feel anything negative or bad from that place. We effectively numb ourselves out. And so not only, this is, is really interesting, and this was, was my experience, and, and many women have shared this with me also, is not only do we, because we're numbed out to life and then numbed out to sex, not only do we numb out emotionally to sex, we also physically numb out to sex. So we become numb down in our our female sexual anatomy and have turned that part of us physically off. It, It cuts off any interest, desire, or pleasure. When we have a a wall up to life, a wall up to ourselves, a wall up to sex, it cuts off any interest, desire, or pleasure. Hello again. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch today. For those women listening who know you are the problem and want a path forward to take responsibility to change your own inner turmoil and unhappiness, I have a course for women called the Happiness Program, which is the solution to the unhealthy relationship you have with yourself and the issues and challenges that you have in your life and your marriage. You can find the link in the description below to schedule a free consultation with me. And for the good men listening who want a solution to take back the power you have unknowingly given away to your wife, I have a course for you too called the Marriage Rescue Program for Good Men Only that teaches you how to rebuild your strength and confidence as a good man so that you can navigate the relationship you have with your wife in a healthy, constructive way. Again, you can find the link below in the description to schedule a free consultation with me. Thank you so much, and I look forward to talking with you soon.